Aloha everyone, this is Lenora, Hawaii's pickle lady. Today I'm going to show you something very unusual. I haven't seen anybody who makes this uh, in, in a cookbook or any place else. So this is called porcupine chicken because the finished product looks like a porcupine with stuff sticking out all over. So what I have here is some uh, cubes of chicken and I cut it into like say one inch pieces, not too big. I made it kind of big and my, uh, my grandson said, grandma, make it smaller because then I can put it in my mouth in one bite rather than two or three bites. So I cut it down and you can see the pieces are like this. See, about like that, one inch, half an inch, something like that. So what I did was I marinated this overnight in some garlic and salt. And there it is. Okay, now I have in here a dishcloth. You can use paper towels, but I decided to use a dishcloth. And what I did was I shredded with my shredder, this kind of shredder, the potatoes. And I'm going to dry them because we're going to fry them and you don't want it splattering all over. So I just kind of pat it dry. You can do it with paper towels, but I think a dishcloth is a lot easier. And you soak it in water because if you don't, it'll turn all brown. So I had it in this container. I soaked it and changed the water a couple of times. And actually I did it yesterday so it can sit. So I think now it's kind of dry. So I'm going to put it, transfer it to a bowl. And you can see how the pieces are. They're just shredded really nicely. Like this. Okay, now I'm going to add some cornstarch. And some salt and pepper. The cornstarch will help it to adhere better. And then you just mix it all up. Just mix it all up. If it's just potatoes, it won't stick very well to the chicken. And it looks very beautiful when you fry it. Now I've seen recipes where people make so-called porcupine chicken, but they use rice and they usually steam it. But I think this way is much nicer presentation. Okay. Now I wanted to show you the shredder. Um, all you do is, I, again, I soak this potato, and all you do is you just shred it like this. I'm not going to do the whole thing. I just wanted to show it to you. Very easy. Okay, keep on shredding until you have a bunch. Okay, I'm just going to do that much. Now, the chicken, I'm going to put some flour in the bowl, uh, in the package, with a Ziploc bag, and some paprika. And some pepper. And then I'm just going to shake it up. If you need more, you just make more, okay? So now, what you're going to do is, I have some egg whites. And I'm going to beat it up until it's a little frothy. This is a handy little gadget that my granddaughter turned me on to. And she uses it when she makes coffee. It, it just froths the, the cream. It's kind of frothy. I don't need to get it real, real frothy. So I'm going to stop at this point. So now the oil is hot. So I'm going to put some chicken in the flour mixture and shake it up. And let's see probably easier to use my hand. Put it in the egg white. I'm going to put it in the potatoes. And just kind of mound it around it like this. And put it in the hot oil. Put it in here. And just get some. And it cooks pretty fast because it's boneless and it's small pieces. Here 
You can see it's browning already. And I'm just going to turn it. And like I said, it doesn't take long to cook because chicken breast is very tender. Almost there. It's basically eating chicken with french fries without all the mess. So I think this batch is done. And you see it's just like porcupine sticking out all over the place. Okay, I'm just gonna fry this one batch for now. Now I'm gonna make the sweet sour sauce. So I have some cayenne pepper, and that's optional. Some soy sauce, some balsamic vinegar, some orange marmalade. This will give it the sweetness. Some fresh ginger, some ketchup. Now mix it all up. You don't have to cook it, and then when, when you eat it, you can dip it in here. And now, everybody you know, the official taste tester, Austin. <laughs> Hello, guys. <laughs> so he's going to try the porcupine chicken and the sweet sour sauce. Okay. And what is the sauce made out of? It's marmalade and uh, some ketchup and lots of ginger and different things in it. Mm. So it makes it kind of sweet sour, balsamic vinegar too. It looks very delicious. Yeah. So Austin, you ever tried this before? Um, I have not. It looks very interesting and a different kind of, is this like a dessert? I mean a dessert. Um, <laughs> is it like a side dish or? Yeah, I think so. Hmm. See all that potatoes really crispy. Oh, that's what those are. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's try it, see how it is. Mm. Crunch. A good crunch. And the sauce is just mouth-watering. <laughs> <laughs> good. Okay. So you all should try this. Kids would like it, and like I said, if it's too spicy, omit the cayenne. Is it too spicy for you? Um, for me, I really like spice, so mm. I think it's very good for me. Good. Good spice good. level. Okay. Every bite has a crunch, and it's really delicious. Everybody will love this. I look, I can't stop eating them. <laughs> <laughs> They're really nice. I like them, the crunch. And the sauce is just, it has a little kick to it. So, and also it's really, has a, like a sweet to it. So different from most sweet sour sauces that yeah. you've tasted, right? Yeah, it's way, it's unique. I like it. Another depth of flavor. So can you eat the whole plate? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> it's very delicious. Oh, good. Well, I thank you for coming. Thank you for having me, tasting all this wonderful food. You're welcome. <laughs> and remember, you can do this too. You, you saw how fast it was. It's just a little bit of preparation. But once you get all that down, easy. And you can make it probably, if you're going to have a party, you can make it a couple hours early because this is dry and it won't get uh, soft unless you eat it the next day. It stays really crispy. So remember, if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Comment and subscribe if you haven't, because remember, it supports my channel. And don't forget to click that bell so that you can be notified when we make nice videos like this one. And to those that are watching my videos and haven't subscribed yet, click that subscribe button. Mahalo and thank you for watching.